Good morning. It's um, Rich from Motorsoft Garage. Uh, just a quick update. i um, just um, been putting my Ducati ST2 1998 um, on the Diag. That's a Guzzi Forum software, um, which you basically download from IAW Diag. And it's the V0.50 version. Um, and it's taken quite a bit of time to set up. But um, it's just finding out what you see you and all sorts of things like that. Um, let's have a look. Uh, let's have a look around. You've got all sorts of things here. Um, let's have a look. View measurements, faults, actuators, engine off. Um, I've just got it switched on at the moment, the Ducati, um, which you have to do anyway, so I can read the. EC, ECU, as you know, um, and also you need your connector. Um, if you get one of those, it needs to be set on the second from the left in, which I guess is three, whatever that means. I'd do that by trial and error uh, to find out which setting that was on, but it's plugged in. And now I've, I've, I could use a battery, but it's hard to get to it at the Ducati, so I've used my own little standalone battery because it has uh, positive and negative. It needs, it needs a feed of electric to um, activate the OBD2 connector. And then it's obviously um, USB into the computer. Now I tried the um, the other OBT uh, Bluetooth adapter, uh, which is this one. Now it should work um, with the Scan5 download, um, you know, on your app, on your smartphone, but it doesn't. I cannot get it to connect. So anyway, this is the old traditional way on the computer, which at least um, it is actually working. Um, it takes a bit of setting up. It's comms for com four is normally the the connection. Um, let me just see if I can see what we can do here. There we go. There's your measurements, um, which I'll fire the engine up in a minute. And that it appears the IAW P seven PF. 09 seems to be the one it reads and that seems to be the ECU that it likes uh, I think it's sort of selected that anyway it's just loading at the moment various things you can select uh, for example I can take RPN like that and then obviously if I you want me to hear me if I start the engine up but anyway engine temperature um, it is basically quite slow because it's quite slow technology you know 1998 um, technology from the ECU, so you know, we get there in the end. Um, yeah, so there we go RPM, throttle, throttle angle, and all sorts of things like that. Millisecond. So, you've got lots of things here, and you've got more down here. Um, that you could put all sorts of things on there. And I've chosen all I haven't. CO, CO trim. Um, I don't think you can do a great deal for that alteration. I haven't looked at it any further at the moment, but that. It's the, the guzzyforum.de is the one to go on to. Because um, the guy's done this software and he sort of does it free and you can donate to him if you wish. Um, so he's a, he's a good old boy. Um, but that is the key. That is the key to find the software. And that, I'm really going on what I've now found that works, is that connector. You'll see it on eBay. Many others are available, of course. Many other... Um, auction sites um you'll see that on there um there's the key there you can see the the b a g k l m whatever fiat so the fiat thing obviously italian um and that's how i do it with the separate battery because it's a lot easier because you've got to connect up to your your four pin there and it has the four pin connector for the obd thing um and then of course it's usb as i said earlier so i'm just looking at this now and I'll start the engine in a minute and see if we can see anything going on. But I was just looking at, if we go to there and we go to view, I was looking at faults. And um, if we go eventually, well, try again. Uh, I did have faults up before. There we go, faults. Uh, read. Read. No. Oh, well, I took a photograph of it, so I may have to restart it all. Do something, I don't know. Which they may be just a bit slow, but they all came up. I've got a photograph which I could put on the site and I photographed it. 
Uh, mm, mm, yeah, right, okay. Let's just switch it on and off again. It's been, oh, there we go. Oh, it says no actual fault. Oh, that's no help. I thought there was a fault. Uh, no actual fault. Well, that's good. That's good to see. You see it's come up with no actual faults. But anyway, um, let's just switch it on and off again. Um, uh, I'm just going through this process. I know it's laborious, but when you when it's taken an hour and a half to um, actually let's disconnect it, mission off. Yeah, okay, and then connect it again. I'll just show the process. Connect, then it says switch ignition on. Switch ignition on. It does give you a bit of a clue because I, um, a lot of this um, I, I've literally done it by trial and error. So uh, all good fun. Okay, so now you see it's not it's saying it's not reading it now, but we get there in the end. If you see what I mean, it's not plug and play. It really isn't. Uh, for whatever reason, it's decided it's saying it's off now ignition. So, and it will do this. It will do this. Um, it's trying now, because it's stopped saying anything. And you can come up here and see if it's actually connecting. No, it's not. It says disconnect down here. Eventually we get there. I might even, I might even reboot the actual diet, um, ABD reader thing. And then connect it. Uh, it is this temperamental, but we get there in the end. And I, I've got, I know I've got the right settings. Hmm. Switch it off again. It's all a sort of combination of, of, of as, as we go. I think it, it's the software, and you know, it's a combination of things, um, bugs and the software and whatever. But we get there in the end. Um, I'll put that back. Let's switch it on again. So obviously last time I got in there, which I was showing you because obviously um, you were seeing the bits I was looking around. Obviously, you can go into ECU there, get into the EPRI. I never got into the EPRI, I couldn't, it was always greyed out. So it is a bit of smoke and mirrors, I'm afraid. Um, it isn't the most easiest. You have to extract it when you download it, but you'll know all about that. Um... I'm sure you get there in the end. It is literally trial and error. And there's no reason now why it should not. I may even have to start software again. I may even have to reload the software again. You, who can tell? Who can tell? Um, so I'll reload the software again. But it's getting a bit longer, this video. But anyway, um, I'm just trying to show you what fun we can have with trying to get these old softwares and various things working but this is obviously very cost effective of course to get a mathesis um the original you know i think you can get a second hand one for about one thousand pounds plus three thousand pounds you know it's crazy money i've seen one at one thousand pounds i've seen one at three thousand pounds sold um if you get the original ducati mathis um handheld so you know this is a free software and this is a well, you'll see it, I don't know, 10 or something on, a, on the internet. Um, you know, and if you can get the other software to work on your, on your Elm, is it 725? Elm, something like that. Anyway, Elm, Elm you'll see it under the, on, on the internet. Um, and also you see, your, I think it's called Scan5. You'll see it on um, the normal store for apps. Um, could try that but i haven't got that to work yet it just will not connect to the actual ecu on the bluetooth that would be the best because you know ideally just use your phone and then just plug in and then just plug in plug in your um bluetooth there and plug it into in place of there just plug it into your normal lead there like that um and then use the bluetooth but anyway that's um something yet um, sorted so i'm going to just try and go in again i don't know if i did anything different last time i didn't and now it's deciding not to work so anyway so i'm gonna unplug it again um i think what i'll try and get the photograph on here that i took of the faults that first came up um because it's showing you saw it working anyway um because 
you know now it's not as you can see it's disconnected but you did see all the the numbers that came up and things like that um yeah view and they're, they're all grayed out now so we know we're not connected yeah so i thought i'd just tell you about this i'm sorry um i won't spend time with you sort of trying to reconnect again um there's obviously a reason i've just reconnected that again and um Oh, the other thing is, um, just an update on the front wheel bearings. Um, it was commented when the my MOT that uh, the MOT guy said he thought there was a little bit of a noise or something when he ran the front wheel to make sure it's secure, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, under MOT. But he wasn't sure. He thought it might be the uh, speedo drive. Um, I thought I've got to check it, obviously, and I've checked it and um, took the wheel off check the two bearings one either side and one was completely shot it was absolutely rumbling like like marbles in there um, you know wrong size marbles going around you could feel it rushed in so i've replaced with two new bearings either side one either side of the front wheel and it's so smooth now because i was actually getting noise through the fairing but i thought that was just something else with an old bike and it wasn't um so i'm pleased with that and one of those bearings only lasted four years so you've got to be careful it's worth checking from time to time get your front wheel up as it were and um just spin it round and if it sounds smooth great but i wouldn't trust these bearings necessarily um that they're going to last 20 years you know which i suppose they should do really because they're sealed bearings um there's only seems to be one type of bearing as well on the front wheel bearing the ducati so i couldn't sort of get a I don't know, more expensive make or something. They're all seem to be made in the same factory but sold by different people. Anyway, that's just an update. I'll catch you again soon. Okay, have a good have a good day. Bye.